uh, hello guys today in this live stream we will basically talk about how basically we can show a dialog window model box here with the help of jquery ui library so basically we have a button out there we allow the user if uh, the user click this button this model window will show here basically you will see you can drag this model window it has a title it has a description and also it has the button as well ok button and we have a cross button in order to close this you can see that so basically it's a customizable dialog window that you can uh, show to your website visitors using this jquery ui library we will show show how to basically integrate this library inside the browser in order to show this customized dialog mo model boxes to your website visitors so we will be showing you from scratch so whenever you click this button these this will be showing so for this tutorial i have given all the source code in the description of this live stream so basically you can go to the description and copy paste all the source code so now let's get started so the thing you need to do here is that just create a simple index.html file here and right here you need to basically include the cdn guys all the cdns which are required for this library for this project after the title so simply paste it i have already given all the cdn in the description of the blog post so basically we are including the jquery cdn jquery ui cdn and also the themes as well which is lightness so if you check out if you just write here jquery ui so ui stands for user interface so it's a jquery plugin which allows you to basically you can see jquery user interface so it's a very popular uh, software which contains a lot of GUI widgets that you can show on your screen animations model windows all that stuff so we have this uh, here you will see this is their official website and it has a various kinds of widgets that you can show on the screen so specifically we are talking about how to show the dial dialog box here so we have included the CDN for that so after you do this guys you, you must have a button in order to allow the user to basically we will have the div section here and inside the div section guys we will attach an id which will be dialog1 and basically for every dialog window we need to give it a title attribute so we can give it a title attribute so let's suppose john i give this title here and also we have a description short little description so we will see that let me give this description so this is a short little description about the model window we have given the title we have given the description and now we will after this we will have a button so now when the uh, user press this button this model window will show so we need to attach an id to this button which is opener so now inside the javascript code guys we just need to write this code which is uh, we as we in a included the jquery cdn here we are having this dollar sign available to us we will basically target this div section which is having this id dialog one so we will pass this and here we will attach we will use the dialog based method here in order to show the dialog window it takes an option which is auto open so basically if you make it true guys so if you load the web page automatically this will show on the screen so if you open this live server you will see at the uh, center of the screen this window will show here with the default styling we have a orange this header color inside the background color of the header and this is a grayish color of the content here you will see that you can even customize this also by just changing the styles here so if i show you how basically we can change this so let's suppose we want to change this so we can add a style property and basically here we can change the background color let's suppose we want the background color to be green so we can say background color green so if you see guys the background color will change to green so you can customize you can pass any background color of your choice so i think the default color looks good and similarly you can even style this also this background color also so now if i don't want to show it i can simply pass as false so now 
if you load the page this dialog box will not show so now if i want to basically click this button then only i want to show this dialog window what i can do is that i can basically bind a event listener to the button so we have given an id to this button so what we can say is that we can basically target the button by the id that we have given which is opener and then we can attach a click event handler so inside this we will basically pass a callback function and here we will simply say again we will target this dialog one and then we will initialize again call the dialog and here we will simply pass open that's all so here we are passing the command in order to open the dialog window so what will say if i click this button you will see the dialog window will open you will see that So in this way guys you can basically show a basic model window with the help of jQuery user interface library and the styles for I was talking about you can even write custom CSS here by using the style attribute and here you can just target this UI widget header and UI state default and UI button so all these styles you can change guys you can basically change the background color so any color you can change to let me just write these styles here the background color the text color so basically these are the styles you can change here any color of your choice so if you now open this so you will see basically the color wheels will be changed here you will see that the header color is changed so you can basically choose any color of your choice you can see that so now how to basically add a button guys here ok button so whenever click uh, button just uh, user presses that button we need to basically close that so we can even place this at on at any location guys so we basically have a second property here which is called as buttons so here we can even show a button also inside this object we can show a ok button so this will basically have a callback function and inside this we can simply say here dollar this and we can basically close this so now to close this we can pass the close command you can see in order to open this we are passing open now to close it we are passing close so if you click here we will have a ok button guys so now if i click the ok button the dialog window will close you will see that we have a ok button right here and similarly we can have a lot more buttons as well let's suppose we want to have a array of buttons so we can put a array here and then we can put a comma and we can have a second button so this button can be for cancel you can basically give any button of your choice so this button can be for cancel So when you do this, when you click this, then also we need to basically close this. So let me show it. I think a cancer is only OK button is there. So you can't add multiple buttons. So just do it. So now, yeah, there is a OK button here. So now uh, basically the positioning is very much important, guys. If you want to position it at a very location we can even change the title here also we can provide the title of the model window here also let's suppose customized title so if you don't want to provide it in the html the title here as we have provided in the html if you see if you don't want to provide this property you can even pass it inside customized title you will see that so you can basically eliminate this from the markup here you can provide this and next property is the position so basically if you want to position at a particular location then we can simply pass here uh, let's suppose uh, we don't we want to position it as the top left corner and we can provide my and add position which is left top so now it will be placed at the here lo location you will see at top left position and similarly you can change this uh, 
bottom right so just need to provide here these two here bottom right so if you see basically now if you hit I think this needs to be right and then bottom so now you can see that it is placed at uh, the bottom right position here and now guys if you do, if you want to disable it if you don't want to allow the user basically to just uh, move this dialog window there is also a property that you can define here we can pass this property as uh, resizable i think it's this property resizable and you can pass it to false so now the user i think can't move this okay okay the user can't resize it this is the property here if you do pass it to true the default value is true then the user can basically resize this window so if you see the user can resize it accordingly but if you pass here false then user can't resize it so i think these are the some of the options that you can pass here that I have shown you all the options, you can add buttons, all these options, you can play with this library, you can go to the description and copy paste all the source code and thank you very much for watching this live stream and I will be seeing you in the next one.